So today is Vlogmas 16 and today I'm going to talk to you about fear and the fear in our choice to home educate because we all get them nerves and now I get an awful lot of messages from parents usually on Facebook and Instagram in all honesty sometimes on Twitter very rarely on TikTok and I get a lot of messages from parents stating that they wish they could home educate because their child is going through a variety of scenarios whether that's lack of same care or lack of bullying support and safeguarding and if I had a pound for every time one of these parents actually said to me I don't feel like I have the skills or the capabilities of teaching my child I would be a millionaire and my response back to them is always did you go through the school system yourself and nine times out of ten they would say yes they did a school system that left them feeling inadequately educated so I just leave that one there with you for two minutes <laughs> and it's not just their children that are suffering the prolonged effects of trauma and PTSD a lot of the time the parents are too they feel so overwhelmed under supported and unable to meet the needs of the children because they are so bound by the red tape of the schools they, nine times out of ten they can't even get a head teacher to take a, a call with them to actually sit down and have a genuine conversation with them the parents feel so unsupported, the children feel so unsupportive and as a parent there's nothing worse than feeling helpless when it comes to supporting your child. But instead of having the confidence in their own education to remove the children from the school system, they feel trapped in that system because they don't feel capable enough. And so you see that continuous cycle. And my first advice is to always research de-schooling. This gives the parent a chance to reevaluate the way they view education and how learning takes place. Now, I do have videos on my YouTube and TikTok channels about the deschooling process that go into great detail. So, you may want to watch them ones after this one if you are on the fence about home education, because this does allow you to completely turn on its head what you feel education is and how it takes place. Because at the end of the day, the studies show that it is not sat behind a desk. And in fact, that learning takes place better when it is a practical hands-on experience that allows the children to explore their environment. And before seven, learning takes place best through play. In addition to that, schools can't cater to all the different learning styles that there are. Whereas as home educators, we have that flexibility. We have that ability to do so. We can cater to our children's individual learning styles, even if all our children have different learning styles. At the end of the day, you're not going to be facilitating the education of 30 children. I mean, <laughs> you might be, but the majority of us are not. <laughs> Schools tend to use a lot of worksheets purely because they are easier to assess that many children. If you've just got the one worksheet that you have to mark 30 times over, it is far easier than having to do individual projects with each child. It, it's pretty impossible to do in the school environment that way. So they have no choice really but to go for the methods that allow them to assess the child easier. Whereas as home educators, we're there one-on-one -on -one with our children. We can observe in real time. And when we're making those observations, we can also ensure that they fully understood something before we move on to another topic. You also get the beauty and leeway of being able to delve a bit deeper than the school curriculum actually allows you to do because in many instances you only like scrape the surface of information and facts in school whereas at home you get to really dive in especially when the when the ones that you really want to sink your teeth into so that allows our children to really follow their interests as well and that makes it more likely that they will retain the learning long term as a home educator you're not expected to be a teacher you're expected to facilitate a full-time education but you're not expected to create the, the school environment at home. As long as you are meeting the educational needs of your child, that education can take place. However, the parent feels the child will best respond to it. It's about creating an environment that's conducive to your child learning needs, not ours, not the school's, no one else's, our child's. And anything you don't know, you can learn with your child. And this is probably something that you'll hear me say a lot. If you don't know something, learn it with them get stuck in with them because I have learned so much in starting on this educational journey with my children and recently quite a bit of it I've been using as foundational elements in my biochemistry at university 
And that was the GCSE study unit and A-level study unit that I was doing with my teenagers. It's actually one of the things I enjoy most about home education. The fact that you do find so much to learn together. And it's good for your children to see that you're learning new things too. Because that shows them that education is actually a lifelong journey. As parents, we're not meant to have all the answers. But there are ways we can find them. And that just gives us more opportunity to show our children in real time how you would go about researching and finding them answers and finding that information. Teach them them skills and discover it all together. We're also a very supportive community and we will always help each other out. You only have to post online and within minutes you will have hundreds of parents messaging you back with ideas and suggestions and support. It's a real community spirit. And one thing I have noticed is that over time that fear actually does diminish. Once you're seeing your child thrive and you've got into your own flow of things as a family, you do see that fear diminish immensely, I think. There'll always be little niggles now and again, but that's normal for any parent. Parents of school children have them same niggles themselves. In addition to that, it's also worth noting that many children actually leave the UK school system without qualifications. A fifth of our UK school children leave without no qualifications at all, whilst just 33%, yes, just 33% of our working class children who receive free school meals due to poverty will actually walk out that door with a qualification grade five or above. Now, if that isn't something to be scared of, I don't know what is. 67% of our working class students will leave the UK school system without the grades that they needed to progress further in their chosen careers. That is alarming. 67% of our working class children being failed by the school system. The UK also has the highest rates of bullying across the Western world, which again is shocking in itself, with one in five children having contemplated suicide. One in five children contemplating suicide. It's absolutely heartbreaking, it really is. And it's not just the children and parents that this is taking a toll on. We also have teachers having breakdowns, being off sick long term with stress and quitting in droves. You only have to check out links like, I don't know, Teachers Quit Talk, for instance. And there's loads of videos also online on YouTube where teachers within the UK are sharing their stories about why they're having to leave the UK school system. And another thing that I've noticed is every other parent you meet in the home education community is likely a teacher. I was gobsmacked when I first pulled my children and I first started home educating. I was gobsmacked how many other teachers there were out there. Another thing worth mentioning is that deregistration doesn't have to be forever. So if it doesn't actually work out for you or your family, you can actually opt back into the school system again. I first started home educating because one of my sons had PTSD and was going through CAMS. And this was due to his school-based bullying and trauma around that. He had major school refusal at the time. And I was terrified at first, despite being a qualified teacher. I was terrified at first. But what I'll never forget is the moment that I first heard him laugh again. Because I pulled the other two straight away. I only had three children at the time. But I pulled the other two immediately. <laughs> I had to completely reverse how I viewed education because I'd had worksheets and formal teaching drilled into me during my years of training. But I am so glad that I took that leap of faith because his mental health had to come first. I knew from experience because I also taught in colleges of an evening. So I knew from that experience that education was a lifelong journey. Some of the students on my courses could be 70, 80. I've even had a 93 year old. <laughs> in one of my courses before now. So I knew 100% that education was a lifelong journey and he could pick that up at any point in time. But with mental health, I didn't have that same confidence. I couldn't hand on my heart and say, I can leave him in this school system and he's gonna be okay and I can pick up his mental health in five or six years time, the way that's possible with education. So I made that decision and I pulled him from the school system and I am so grateful that I did because the pros have always far outweighed any cons. Anyway, on that cheery note, <laughs> I'm gonna love you and leave you because I have to go and find a snake. Yeah, somehow it escaped the tank.
so I'm gonna go and help hunt that down in my son's bedroom it kind of gone far because it was there earlier on today and it's probably just buried or hidden somewhere if you've got snakes you know what snakes are like so I'm gonna go up rip this tank apart <laughs> and see if we can find Cornelius don't forget to like subscribe or follow and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or even just to share your experiences of the school system too whether you're a parent or teacher and don't forget you can also find more information on learning styles de-schooling de-registering and home education in general on my channels whether that be tiktok or youtube i hope you found this useful today and thank you for watching